Do the hard shit that is necessary. Period. Quit waiting. Quit overthinking. Just do the hard shit first. My name is CJ. This is Evolve Strong with CJ. I help you lose 10 pounds and five inches on your waist in 28 days. This is my guarantee to everybody that comes into my program. Now that's Shred. We also have a really cool program called Build. Uh, Cody does that, and that's for muscle hypertrophy and the building of muscle uh, for gains. And then we have personal training. Anyways, but neither here nor there. This is who I am. Now listen up. I have had to been reminded of this now a couple times already. And I've been slapped in the face this last week because I did not do the hard stuff first. I waited and I just procrastinated and um, I waited until uh, a day later and then it caught up to me and the tail caught up to me and swung and hit me 10 times harder in the face than it could have. <laughs> have you ever had that happen to you? I'm not going to go into great detail, but I should have just handled the hard shit first. I should have made the decisions. I should have made the call. I should have talked to the individuals and I should have just done what was needed to have been done right when I made, right, right when I decided to do so. I shouldn't have contemplated. I shouldn't have just, you know, just been a wuss. I should have just done it. This is one of the main reasons why I believe the 5 a.m. group and the 7 a.m. group, the 6 a.m. group, those that kind of work out in the morning that get the shit done first actually are the ones that are most consistent. I can't say everybody. So please, my, my 11.30 and my 6 p.m.ers, please don't get all crazy on me. I love you just as much. Um, but a lot of times, a lot of individuals have a hard time working out in the morning. I mean, working out, period. They have a hard time just getting their shit together and doing it especially after a long day of work. I get it. You've been dealing with emails. You've been dealing with bosses and clients and problems and headaches. And you've been battling the, the battles of the wars that you fight every day, whether it be for your economic gains, whether it be relationships, whether it, whatever it may be, your health, seriously, your health, literally. You know, those are the top three things that we, 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 we do all day. So at the end of it, at the end of the day, what is it we want to do? We just want to rest, right? We just want to just chill out, grab a beer, put on some Netflix and chill. <laughs> Anyways, no, kidding, but not really. Actually, Netflix and chilling is much, much better if you're taking care of your health. I promise. I guarantee that. That was an aside. Anyways, that's a CJ aside. Do the hard shit first, man. Get up, put your shoes on, go for a run. Get up. Prepare your meals for the day. Make sure it's planned and ready to go. Do the hard shit first. Get up. Do all the sales calls you need to do if you're in business. Do the hard shit first. Get up. Fire the people you need to fire. Get up. Do the reports that you have to do. Get up. Write the book that you've been writing. Do the words that you have to do in order to write. Get up and do it. Just get it done first. Quit being all this. You got you to gotta get this mojo done. You got to do this. Light this candle. You got to get this coffee. No, just get your shit done. Do the hard stuff first. Once you get the hard stuff done, the rest of your day is going to be so much better. This is just a friendly reminder because it hit me in the face. I procrastinated for about a day to do something that I needed to do. And man, it slapped me in the face and it hit me hard. And I'll tell you more than likely, if you do the hard stuff first, it sets the tone for the rest of the day. The rest of the day is going to be so much easier. And not even just within the day. If you know you have to do something and you've been procrastinating about it, you've been, you've been holding off for the right time, the right place, there's never a right time. There's never a right place. For fitness especially. Individuals who tell me, well, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to. You know what? You're procrastinating. You're bullshitting. Get your ass here today. Start. Then when you go on vacation, go on vacation, then come back and keep going. Start. Quit waiting. There's no, there's no, there's no perfect time. And there's always going to be an excuse if you allow it to be, if you allow the excuses to be there. Adonis is so funny. He tells me, excuses are only as good as the individuals who are giving them. <laughs> Damn, Adonis, he's so right. 28 years old, and he is right. 
That's why I try not to use excuses anymore. I accept the blame. It's my issue. I do it. So anyways, do the hard shit first. This is your reminder. This is CJ, your trainer, saying, get your shit done. Cool? I think that's what you needed to hear today. All right? Hey, 505-591-4700 is my phone number. That also acts as a text line as well. You're more than welcome to text me if you need some help. That's what I'm here for. Do the hard stuff. Reach out. Let me know. I'm pretty certain that we have a program that can help you out. Absolutely. 28 years of history. That's what I do. All you got to do is do the hard stuff and reach out. Again, from my heart to yours, remember, start strong, stay strong. Always beat you all strong. Later, guys.